Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be playing some Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, the quest we currently have up for a wonderful 225 gold coins is to cast 12 green or white spells only one of those spells away and it just so happens green and white is my favorite deck out of the precons in here the Selesnia pride um now i have altered it from its uh original being but uh, i don't have all the cards i need to really make it pop so we'll see what we can do with this but this is my favorite deck out of all of them um this and the pirate are the two that I really play the most, the black red pirate, um, simply because those are those are my favorite ones to play. I really haven't put much work into the other ones, but we will see how it goes. Opponent's going to go first. Let's see what we got for an opening hand. Uh, well. I've had better, but I've definitely had worse. Um, we're going to go ahead and try it. Yeah, I think we will. Alright, what you got, buddy? What are we playing? Simple Minded Sage. Playing control, merfolk, pirates. They need to make a little mini game where you can try to catch that little lizard. That, uh. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Already burning through your. Countdown clock on turn one. That is not a good sign. There you go. Now you're thinking with power. Yeah, I, I, I know people are going to take time to plan out their moves and whatnot, but... Uh, delaying a game just because you're doing something else, that's not cool. Log off, go do what you gotta do, and then come back to the game. Uh, draw a card, discard a card, okay. I was really hoping to get something aside from another Tranquil Expanse. Um, but... I think the play here you know it's only one so I'm gonna go ahead and play another one yeah worst case they're gonna swing in for one probably gonna use it for card draw though I like the little added, the bugs and the, the lizards and all that. I think it's kind of cool. Add a little little something to it. One of these days I'm going to catch that lizard. There you go. Oh. All right, let's do this. Okay, I feel better now. Um, we play the other Tranquil Expanse, and then... We play a priest. 
unless he counters it. He's got the two up. I would much rather have him counter this than the real Karakul, though. So, all right, he's going to use Essence Scatter. I am fine with that. Maybe they're not doing it. There we go. Oh, sensor. There we go. Yep. That's fine. I am fine with that. Three turns in already using timeouts. Yeah. Like I said, I, I don't mind people that you know, take time to think about their plays and whatnot, but there's a difference between thinking about plays and just straight up slow play. Uh, not a fan of that. Um, I can tend to be an impatient guy, so uh, Magic has definitely taught me a little more patience over the years, but I still have that that core of me that is will be forever impatient. All right, now if you could cast something for four mana, that would just be swell. Because if I can get Anointed Procession out, I'll just be a happy camper. You know, or do anything. Anything is good, too. Oh, man. That sucks. All right. Um, no, we can't cast Anointed Procession because... I can almost guarantee he's got a counter in there. So, um... We'll go ahead and just bring this back. I think that is our best option here. Yeah, it's a copy of the, the guy you already got rid of. Or canceled, I should say. Did he cancel that? Yeah, he did. He essence or not essence scatter, he uh censored. That's what it was. Oh buddy, you're killing me here. <laughs> Okay, we'll try Angel of Sanctions because we can get that back. Interesting. Oh, what is going on there? Um, okay, yeah, he does. Damn it. Oh, that's okay. I, I think we're still good. Negate? Negate or another sensor? Negate. Yeah, I think we're still good. The anointed procession would have been nice, but uh, I don't think it is necessary in winning this. So what are y'all thinking about Arena so far? Those of you that have got in, I know they added a bunch of people like a week or two ago to do a sort of a stress test on the servers and whatnot. Uh, yeah, that's a big old 6'5 dude. Okay. I am fine with that. <laughs> um... Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and try that. <laughs> I 
I don't think I've ever drawn those two, because I only have two in the deck. I don't think I've ever drawn both of them. That's kind of fun right there. I mean, you can return one to my hand, but it's still going to do essentially the same thing next turn. That's not good for them. I mean, I guess they could draw a land, and that might be good. Uh, yeah, there's, they still they have yet to play one this turn, so there you go. Hmm. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think that's game. Um, see, that would be 5, 10. Yeah, that's game right there. A little strength of the pack, and then we're going to swing out. Good game, sir. All right, well, thank you very much for, uh, for watching with me today. And, oh, hey, I went up a tier. Sweet. Uh, that is appreciated. Oh, we got stuff. Cool. What do we get? Uh, not really one I need that I can think of, but cool. One more to add to the collection. But, yeah, like I said, thank you very much for uh, for joining us today. If you like what you saw here, click that like button. Hit subscribe. Be sure to sign up for the notifications so you can tell when we put all our videos up. And be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, Chuckwagon MTG. Now, if you could do me a huge favor and check out this brief message from our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.